Welcome back, Gadgeteers. So today I got the brilliant idea that I should install Boot Camp and put Windows 10 on my MacBook 2015 12-inch model. I was thinking that it being the lightest computer that I have, I would definitely prefer to take it to work. And as you know, being a teacher, I do need to have access to Windows 10 and Microsoft Office 2016. Now you may ask, why don't you just use Microsoft Office in Mac? Well, I do, is the answer. The thing is, I need to have access to Microsoft Access as well. So, and, and I want it to be my lightest machine. So I started Boot Camp installation and I set aside a 200 gigabyte partition for Windows. I have a total of a 512 gigabyte SSD in this particular model and it is a refurbished MacBook 2015, but it's worked perfectly for me over the past few months. So I figured, why not? I'm gonna put Windows on it. So this part of the process, even though it says one minute remaining, took about, I would say 10 minutes. Now, the first time I ran through this process, when it first booted into Windows, unfortunately, I had no keyboard and mouse and it simply wouldn't work. I waited five or 10 minutes at the Windows setup where it asks you the first question and you click next to continue and I couldn't. So I had to power it off and back on. And when I did that, the Windows partition, although it had been created, was not seen as a boot option and I had to remove it in, Win in boot camp and then put it back reset it up again in boot camp and reboot now on the second time i was a little nervous so i did make sure that i had a usb keyboard plugged in but i never needed it because the mouse and keyboard simply worked so here i am doing the actual windows install i'm booted into the windows partition on the macbook 2015 and i do apologize for the handheld I was watching some shows with my wife and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do this because I have the time. And then, as always, I think, why am I not recording this? I should always record something I do. I always do techie stuff, even when I'm sitting around watching TV. I can't avoid it. So I thought, I better record this too. And here I am agreeing to another agreement, EULA and the boot camp software is being installed this part mm, i would say it took maybe 10 minutes the actual install of windows took about 20 minutes which i thought was really good for a 2015 macbook now many of you viewers have told me that's really not that old and i do agree with you so here is the boot options when i hold down the command key and boot up the macbook for some reason it's defaulting to Windows. I haven't quite figured that out. So even if I'm in Mac OS and I reboot, it's in Windows. And I think that's, it boots into Windows the next time. So I think that's really strange. And here I am in Windows for the first time. Now what I found interesting, I thought the installation was all done, but apparently there's there were some things going around going on in the background and so the processor was a little bit busy but as you'll see in a minute the video driver doesn't actually install until oh i don't know five or ten minutes into being in windows which i thought was strange but performance wise i was very happy everything was running well i decided i, I wanted to check out the discs and I wanted to see if Windows could see the partitions for Mac OS. I know it wouldn't be able to understand what type of format the partitions were in, but it should be able to see them. So I booted into Windows, went into Computer Management, and here's me trying to figure out where Disk Management is. Down, Mark, down, there you go, good job. So I'm checking out these partitions and I was surprised to see that there was an OS 10 reserved partition of 7.45 gigabytes. That was odd. And here's my partition for Mac OS. 
which I'll bet I could delete here in Windows, and that would probably be very regrettable. And I went into control panel real quick because I wanted to make some setting changes. I really like having my right click on the mouse. So I got some help from Google. And I had told me to go to system and security. See, I'm, I'm watching TV, so it's slowing me down. It was a good show. I was watching The Strain on Hulu. Uh, I don't know if anybody's seen that, but it's a good show. And then you go down to, yep, keep going, Mark, boot camp. And inside boot camp, and there's the video driver right there installing. Too cool, huh? I cruised over to trackpad eventually and turned back on tap to click and secondary click. That tap to click is tricky, though. The, um, Mouse pad is way more sensitive in Windows than it is in Mac, so I end up clicking more times than I actually intended to. Now, I tried to turn off the display brightness. I, I was thinking this was display brightness, but this is actually the keyboard brightness. I didn't really want... Well, it doesn't matter. I adjust it myself anyway. No big deal. And I switched my default browser to Firefox. And the odd thing is, I kept having network connection problems. So basically my, my Wi-Fi network was showing up, but it would disappear. Now that one that was showing up was my 2.4 gigahertz network. What was missing was my five gigahertz, but it, it would show up and it would work for a while, then it would stop working. But um, I let the system finish what it was doing and after that I never had the problem with a disconnect from the network again. Performance was really good so I thought you know what I'm gonna go try to play a video. Well of course by default it's trying to play the video at 1440p and it's also still finishing installing drivers and I'm running OBS and that's just a little too much for a MacBook 2015 probably for a MacBook 2017 to be honest so you can see the stuttering and hesitation there so I went down to 1080p and it was pretty good and I'm thinking boy is that the best it's going to be because it plays a lot better at Mac OS and then I thought hello Mark you're recording with OBS and I set the bitrate for the recording to 4000 so you know I had it pretty busy <laughs> um, and I was recording in Windows and it, it seemed decent. I mean, I was able to do all of these different things on it, so I really can't complain. I thought it was impressive. I, you know, from what I read, Windows 10 just isn't as good on a Mac, and performance-wise, it's on par to me with what I was getting in Mac OS on this MacBook. So, it's exactly what I need. I've got a super light system. I got a decent sized SSD. So now I've got a dual boot. I can do my Windows stuff when I'm at work. I mean, if I didn't have to have it for teaching, I probably would have dual booted into Linux, as I'm sure you would imagine. Oh, by the way, here I am finally correcting the brightness resetting over and over every time I rebooted. All I had to do was go into Task Scheduler and disable this D, uh, set to default display brightness every time I boot it up. Really annoying. And here I am in window or excuse me, Mac OS. I just wanted to check out real quick and see if I could see my partitions. Mac OS created a boot camp or a boot camp shortcut for me. And of course it's read only with NTFS by default. I probably could remedy that later, but Basically, if I do any recording in Windows, I can just go back into Mac OS, which is what I did, and I'm creating this video right now in iMovie, and iMovie's working great too, to be honest. All in all, I'm really, really happy with this little computer and its capabilities and being able to dual boot. Uh, it's me and actually exceeded my expectations so if you're looking for a inexpensive refurb don't be afraid to get a 2015 although I probably would increase 
the storage size to the 512 gigabyte. See if you can find one of those because if you're really going to do a dual boot, you definitely want the 512. I don't think 128 is enough for either of the OS's. It just, you know, especially with the Windows updates. So, hope you enjoyed the video. This worked out really well for me. I learned a lot. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, share, and comment. And I'll see you next time on Fast Gadgets.